speak up? Sure. I'm a little nervous. I've never done a <laughs> speech about myself before. <laughs> um, I want to say, first of all, thank you. I'm very honored and grateful to have received the scholarship. It's the first time I've ever gotten a scholarship. Mm -hmm. So it's helped tremendously, especially um, when I received it. I wasn't working full time, and I have a daughter. Um, so financially, it's been kind of a struggle since I have moved to Portland. <coughs> So I guess I'll start with the story of my life. Um, I'm from Houston, Texas, and I taught, well, before that I went to the University of Houston and I got my degree in history. I got a BA in history. I love history. Um, I love learning about how other cultures and societies interact with each other. And I, during my time in school, I realized I never thought I wanted to be a teacher. I hated high school. <laughs> so much. I couldn't stay in school all of my years. Um, but I think that's just because I had really horrible teachers. Um, and so when I started taking my history classes, I developed a strong sense of um, I wanted to be active in society. I, social justice is huge to me. Um, and I figured where could I do the most, where could I make the most impact? Education. You know, I could start with educating the future of our society. Um, so then I went to school in University of Houston and I went through their teacher preparation program for urban educators. Um, I got a job outside of school, right outside of school, teaching in a low income um, high school for at risk students. It was a really tough two years. I learned a lot in those two years. My car was broken into twice. And oh boy. It's, I have some crazy stories. The principal of that school, the first year that I decided to work there, she had read an article about a school district, I think in South or North Carolina, that had implemented um, <coughs> same-sex classrooms to improve test scores. And without any training from the teachers, um, no extra support whatsoever. My first day of teaching, ninth grade, I realized by looking at my roster that I have all boys. <laughs> and I was like, huh, that's that weird. <laughs> why, do, why do I have all boys? That's an opportunity. <laughs> yeah, so that was an interesting year. Needless to say, that did not go well for the school, and so it was not like that the next year. <laughs> but um, I learned a lot in that situation. And I decided that I wanted to move out of Houston. I like to be active outdoors. I like to be hiking and camping. And Houston just doesn't permit, you know, with the weather, it's too hot. So I saved up for a while. I'd never been out to Portland. And I just decided to move and quit my job. Everyone thought that I was crazy <coughs> and a little irresponsible. Mm -hmm. But things have worked out really well. Um, I started the curriculum instruction program right away here. It is all online, which is the first time I've taken an online program. Mm -hmm. So that's been a little bit of a challenge. I like the you know, face-to-face -face interaction and communication. It's felt a little isolated, but it has allowed me to work. Mm -hmm. um, and I know that I wanted, as, when I started teaching, I realized that the curriculum was really lacking in a lot of schools, especially the textbooks that were being used, and so um, curriculum kind of became my passion. I feel like that's one of my strengths, being able to supplement other resources, use the web, bring in more engaging, creative types of curriculum other than relying on a textbook. So I just recently obtained a full-time teaching job um, where I teach social studies mm -hmm. to um, high-risk at-risk youth who have been pretty much kicked out of the public school system and they come to us as a last resort. So it's an alternative high school and middle school. Um, it's called Oregon Outreach. We have three different locations. The location that I work for works for the David Douglas School District, so they come to us mm -hmm. kind of as a last resort. Um, it's been a challenging year, but I absolutely love it. I love teaching um, at-risk urban youth. I, that's just my passion. And I just got promoted for next year to become the curriculum and instruction director for the program. Mm -hmm. So I'm very excited about that. So I will be doing that as well as teaching half time. So I know I'll have a lot on my plate. Um, 
personally, I guess I really enjoy traveling. I travel as much as I can. I have a Central American trip planned this summer because I'm getting married, and that's where we're going to go for our honeymoon. So we're going to do a month-long backpacking trip. Um, I do couch surfing. It's a way of traveling. I don't know if anyone is familiar with that website. In line. Okay. Well, um, I start. I found out about it because I wanted to travel, but I couldn't afford to. And so it's a way to stay with other people for free. And it's an online website um, where everyone that gets on is verified. You have references. They're verified with their address through the website. So you can basically pick a country, go through a list of people that have profiles, descriptions of where they live, what they like to do, and then request that you stay with them for free. In return, you know, if they ever wanted to come visit you in America, that you would open up your house to them. So I, that's the way that I travel, and it's, I've had really wonderful experiences. So we're going to be doing that this summer. Yeah. Well, the online concept has um, been a matter of discussion amongst many of us. <clears throat> Could you just tell us a little bit about the, just the logistical nature of doing your entire program online? Um, in terms of like what does it consist of or so I take one class each quarter or yeah quarter the semester no quarter <laughs> and oh I'm also in the ESL program so I'm almost finished with that so I also do a face-to-face -face class with that uh, which helps but usually it's you know weekly readings you have online discussion posts that you have to log into by a certain time each week there's projects that you work with other group members, but it's all online projects that you upload through D2L. D, yeah, D2L. Mm -hmm. um, so everything is done through that website. I really, really love the program. I like the classes that I'm taking. I've learned a lot about curriculum development and theory. Um, I just miss the interaction, you know, the face-to-face -face interaction and dialogue that I don't really get. Questions, comments? But you say you're taking your ESL and the face-to-face -face program mm -hmm. now? So. Yes, I am. So I, I take one night class each week. Right? I want to know what time this class is on and whether you're even up when you, you turn on the television. <laughs> <laughs> the ESL class? or The class you said that you're so online. No. I'm confused. What, you have an online class. Right. Can you just plug into it any time? Yes. So there'll be... Okay. I've, I've never... I, yeah. I don't plug in. So, <laughs> so I'll have a whole week to complete all of my assignments, and then usually by Saturday at midnight, I have to um, dis respond to discussion questions or reading um, posts, things like that. Yeah. So I usually have about a week to do that, and I can just plug in any time that's convenient. So it's very convenient, especially because <coughs> I'm working full-time, and I'm working quite a bit of hours right now. So it's nice to have... Um, the flexibility that the online program allows. How long will it take you to complete your work that you missed? I will be done in July. So I'm almost done. With both programs? Yes. And you've been at it how long? Um, two years this September. It will be two years. Is this online course that you're offered also available on campus? Yes. But because of your work schedule, mm -hmm. you opted to take it online? Right, and I was just kind of curious how an online program worked. Okay. Um, yes. But yes, it was mostly to be able to work. Okay. Is there feedback uh, from the students of those online classes to the uh, professor in terms of uh, what's worked and what hasn't worked because it is online? Are they so there is an evaluation mm -hmm. form just like there is in a regular class mm -hmm. that you just upload. Um, I don't think you send it to the instructor. No, I don't think that's ever part. All yes. goes to the instructor. Yeah. <laughs> right. So but through the university. Yeah. Right. <clears throat> but yes. Mm -hmm. Well, it sounds like there are definitely a lot of pros. And there are. I've gone into it thinking it might not be quite what you wanted. Right. No, I'm very happy with it. I've been very satisfied. The quality of instruction has been great. I think it's just the nature of an online program. There's no way of getting around. You know the cons of that. 